it with another Skimmy Chimalu Fantasy episode. We're almost caught up. I think the next couple episodes are the episodes that people are very upset about. Plenty of people came to my season one reactions and they're commenting, Bro, season two is just not the same. They're not even focusing on the main character anymore. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I bet it's going to be completely fine based on their indirect spoilers. Now I'm pretty much assuming that these next two episodes are going to be focusing on the girl and the guy, the other heroes, the disciples of the goddess, right? Hopefully it's going to be good. Let's begin today's reaction, though. On the day before we get isekai okay? Oh, we know her? This is spicy now? I thought that... Wait, this is reminding me of wrong way to use healing magic. I swear to God, episode one, wrong way of using healing magic. We met a girl just like her, the senpai in the beginning, just like this sequence. Anyways, I'm getting off topic, but if she knows us, because I thought the disciples might be random characters that we have no idea about. But if we actually know them... This makes, you know, it, it's a lot more interesting this way. Yeah. Average hero. So even back on Earth, we were still like being shit on for being ugly. He's the average hero because everybody else in the archery club is so good looking. Bro just can't catch a fucking break, man. Jealous? Oh, I can do everything with minimal effort. So she is like the epitome. She's like student council president, valedictorian, prom queen, wins all the fucking tournaments, sports, music, academics. Okay, Mrs. Elite, but what can she not do? I hate how she's like, mm, everything will probably go well for me. It's like, ugh, just kind of annoying, huh? Okay, I thought for a second to train my hitter. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for her to get isekai, but technically they get summoned, right? They don't... To resurrect, so <laughs> I thought this this is a fucking bait. <laughs> thought the train would fucking smash her. <laughs> CGI train. She gets summoned by the goddess, and the goddess is gonna be like, "Oh my god, you're so pretty." What's the goddess's reaction? Okay, the opening time. The heroes are a couple of beauties. That's the episode title. Wait, her voice is so much better compared to our intro with Makoto. She actually sounds like a goddess right now. <laughs> I am the goddess of this world. Please save us, brave hero. <laughs> when we got summoned, she's like, Ew, the fuck? <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> she's actually putting up a goddess act. She actually sounds like a fucking proper Megami. All right. Very generic uh, start, right? Protect us from the demons, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, what did she say right here? Hold up, hold up. Okay, I thought she says, I'm planning to send you to one of my worlds. No, 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 no. And one other to my world. Fuck the humans. They suck. Interesting how we still don't see her eyes. Kind of giga chat here. She just rejects. She's like, nah. I, nah, I don't want to buy. Giga chat. Wait, that was actually kind of good. I don't really like this commentary how she's like, Oh, my life is so perfect. I've got this many friends. Oh, yeah, everything I do is just so perfect. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You need to get knocked down a peg, man. Yeah, isn't that boring? Oh, the goddess knows. She can, like, read her mind, her incentive. <laughs> Your life is too easy and fun. Don't you wish for a life where every day is survival for your fucking life? This isn't a very good compelling pitch, goddess. Honestly, no. But I guess she wants to. Alright. Very strong magical, physical. And the charisma to draw people. And the sacred treasure. Bro, she just gave us fucking three. Magic, physical strength, charisma. Here's a sacred gear on top of that too. What does she give us? Ugh, get out of my face. Fucking, you can speak the monster tongue. Bye. All right. Divine trial. Hmm. Limia Kingdom. This is not where we were ever, right? Oh, wait, I zoned out there again. Did, did the king just say the goddess spoke to us? Okay, divine revelation. How the Megami God communicates to you. Here it is. Same way that Makoto got summoned out is that light port. 
to get someone on top of a dinner table? Have fun. <laughs> yeah, we we just fucking just got placed in the other side of the fucking world. We had to fucking walk in the desert. We did get to meet Emma and a lot of good people. We did get to meet Shin too because we were sent so far away. So technically, she she's still a bitch. I still hate her. She still has that sash. The map is just like Japan? Is that important? What? Like the geography, the landscape is exactly like Japan? I feel like that's kind of really, really important. This is mentioned? I don't remember this. I was not paying attention. Holy fuck. This is extremely important. The land is just like Japan? Holy fuck. Wait, what kind of implication does this have? I don't really know. But the fact that this is... You know, we have the god from the earth, we have the goddess of this world. Fucking Japan and this land looks the same. It's, it's almost like they're just like flipped on top of each other, you know? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. This is the end game shit. These piece of shit humans push the demons out to like fucking like 1% of the land over here. They suck. Alright, a lot of um background history of this place. Sent to that nation. It's a silver haired guy, but that nation. When they talk about the war against the demons, are they speaking about that war that happened in season one finale that Makoto pretty much resolved? Or is this like a greater war that's like never ending? So it, we. <laughs> so they train for fucking nothing. That was just one battle in the war. Okay, it's like it's like a continuation thing, right? That was one battle, but basically it was like a big war happening. But I was like, <laughs> they're training all their fucking lives, dedicating their lives for it. Makoto accidentally gets he didn't accidentally get summoned. He got intentionally summoned, but he just fucking clears it and just leaves. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't know how to feel about this girl just yet, you know? I don't know if she's actually a good person or a bad person. Everyone's thirsting over her. I guess this means that she really is that pretty, huh? If a regular human from Earth who are not supposed to be on, on, on average that good looking and the humans here which are supposed to be all just like minimum 8 out of 10s are saying, wow, she's so good looking. I guess that's, I guess she's super hot. I don't really see it, but all right. Oh, who are you? Oh, oh my goodness. But she's a flower, not meant for the battlefield. They're all underestimating her. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's our party candidate list. This guy was mentioned. Oh, she has an ogre? Yeah, but the ogres in these shows are so hot. What the fuck? Well, in, 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 at least in Slime, the ogres turn into into Kijins and they become like husbanded and wife food, but like even like the forest ogre, they all look pretty damn good, huh? Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh? oh, she is? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. She's too pissed off. Nah. Damn! Oh, she heard that. Oh? Is this the charisma buff that the goddess gave us? No, I feel like this is the charm. Like, she's actually just smart and she was able to figure out the incentives for the, what the ogre wanted and basically delivered on that. But this after effect, this right here, I think this is the charm where everyone's like, Oh my god, she's so beautiful! Who is this guy? Who is this idiot dude? I don't have a good feeling about this character. He might get cucked. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. That's great! Why are you talking like getting Shin like that is a bad thing compared to these other- No! No, getting Tomoe like that is so much better. We have the fucking Mist Plains. We have a contract we made. She can fucking go through our memories. We got a little fragment of Tomoe. What do you mean? Tomoe is so great. I feel like Makoto is sometimes very... What's the word? Undeserving? 
he just kind of shits on Tomoe and Mio in his whole entire life, even though, and he even said last episode, how about it? he's so unlucky, but it's like, I feel like Makuto is incredibly lucky. We, we did fight for our lives though, you're right. We, we did fight for our lives in the first time. Uh-oh. They're just walking dogs? Wow, amazing magical barrier. Are these kobolds really that strong? Are they? No, she hasn't. This is the first time. Does she have the resolve? Okay. Oh! Yo, NPC number 364 right there that you're saying. Oh! This guy's ruthless! Finishing blow. No, ignore it. Ignore it. She can't understand though, right? Ah, you hesitated. That's probably like a sign for other dogs. Yeah. Yo, that NPC knight is pretty fucking sick. Hibiki, come on, you're a hero. Do something. Come on, you're the hero. Uh oh. Here we go, here we go. Mm. I oh, great great I kinda wish I was maybe my thumbnail should be me just putting my face as this dog right here that's getting the arm bar, but Chibiki right now so far, she started off as a very superficial, cocky person that maybe has the right to do it because she is that competent, right? And even now she's having some moments I don't know where to kind of hedge my Bets on with this character. The other silver guy, I think you guys are shitting on him a lot, so I can have full confidence to shit on him. But Hibiki so far, he's pretty decent. The armbar cold has stepped. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll put both my faces there. One on each right there. Okay. Hibiki kind of was pretty cool. That's her first battle. Didn't even use her sacred wolf either. Yo, I'm most impressed by the blonde guy though. The blonde guy in the fucking night armor. Uh, okay. Why not? Dude, she pulled out a knife, and the other girl was like, "Get back!" She took this so seriously. Maybe they were actually in danger. I don't know. But it's like the chill. We're just cutting her hair. We're just cutting her hair. All right, she's forcing her safe her way in. I, I like pink hair, girl. As a mere decoration. Oh, matching hairs? Oh, everybody's gonna just get a haircut. <laughs> hey, we're vibing. Yeah, I feel like we're having a moment right now. See, Hibiki is. Well, no, it's because she's interacting with other humans right now. I want to see how Hibiki will react to, like, let's say, Emma or them other, you know, demi-humans. I, 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 we don't really know her true nature just yet. It's easy to be nice in front of other humans, but how is she going to act around Makoto? <laughs> wow, hero party! <laughs> Mio? <laughs> is that Mio? Or is that just another, uh, just another spider? It, it's actually Mio? Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, she just destroyed everything here! Run! You're gonna try to fight it?! Even with the buff, can't even damage. I'm surprised that shield fucking is still intact! No. Now your weapons are gonna break first. Regeneration! That's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. We have ridiculous regeneration. This is actually insane. Like, cause like when you're just hanging out with Mio from the perspective of us, you know, she's just a waifu. Sometimes she's super strong, regenerates, yeah. But like, to see it from the perspective of another hero party, right? They just do so much attacks. And it's like, finally! And it's like, nah, the leg sprouts back up. Mio's still probably chewing her leftovers right now. She's not even fucking trying. Uh oh! Hmm, 
Now, does, does this spider strings have some acid properties that melt away some of the clothes? <gasps> oh! Hey! <laughs> All assist! Oh my god, yo, everybody's getting destroyed! This is absolute terror. Is the party actually all dead? Did we straight up just set up this first 10 minutes just to kind of like hyper party up saying, Oh, happy moments. Haha, <laughs> I'll cut my hair too. Mio shows up, kills everybody. You're alone now. Uh oh! Actually got a hidden. No, you're not. How did she survive this? Maybe Mio just goes away. Mio just let her live? Okay, the wolf's oh. name is Horn. And everyone else is alive? <laughs> I kind of wanted Mio to just like kill everybody. Just wipe them all out. Fuck it. You know, I mean, that'd be a little bit too dark. Girl, relax. It's your first episode. Ooh. And maybe this sets up for the future because undoubtedly, she is going to encounter Makoto in the future. And you know, Mio, if Mio is apparently with us, we would have to transform for her to recognize, but maybe this sets up something for the future where Mio and, you know, her can get up like a round two and an actual real fight. <laughs> okay, come on. I mean, look, look, look. She looks pretty cool here. Yeah, she's the hero. I get it. This is supposed to be her episode. But when you tell me shit like this and you think, think next time, I'll win. Come on now. Really? Really? Yes, that's a nah I'd lose moment. Oh, pretty boy. Pretty boy is the other hero? His hair and eye color is still not the same because like the in the opening, you know, and before, right, we saw like the silver hair and like purple and like was it blue eye or something, but this is the hero? Base form? Tomoki. Okay. Get saved by his harem. It's <laughs> a bad look. What the beautiful? Wait, what? Beautiful fragile boys are great. <laughs> wait, so this character is set up as like uh like, like a damsel boy in distress. Yeah, like a pretty boy prince. He's just like a little weak. Uh, okay, interesting. The girls actually love it that he's a, he's fragile. <laughs> He just sucks at everything. Reincarnated and maxing out enchanting to live an overpowered max death. <laughs> that is the most loaded light novel for an isekai show I've ever read in my life. Reincarnated and maxing out enchanting to live an overpowered max death life as the strongest being ever to ever live and I will beat everyone with one punch because I am the strongest in this world. By the way, did I tell you that? I you know, Jesus fuck Christ. <laughs> So he does get an OP ability, right? Summoned by the goddess. Oh, it's, it's the goddess. Oh, you, you. oh my goodness. Toes. Did she turn into a lolly? She, she had twin tails here too. She has a different form. And, and, and the background here is different too before compared to the other place that we got someone in, huh? All of this is different. Interesting. Okay, she turned into a lolly, but she's still like, Oh, brave hero, please save me. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> My god, her hair is so long. <laughs> OP power. Okay. Magic Eye. What does the word enthrall mean in this contract? Hold on, enthrall. The enthrall basically means um capture the fascination attention of. She has been so enthralled by the adventure that she hardly noticed. So just getting the attention. Basically just strong body, great magic power. I guess it just kind of gives him like his like it's just perception, him being able to read other people. Charm? Hypnosis? Ew. 
Oh my god, is he gonna- A lot of people already has a lot of disdain for this character. Like, people really don't like him. As soon as we, like, finish season 1 finale, and we saw, like, the, the first and second disciples, people were like, Oh my god, I hate this fucking guy! Uh-oh. Mind control in play. Uh-oh. He might be a fucking scum. Oh, that's how he was kind of, like, flying, because he had, like, a spinning drill lance thing. Yeah, you wanted to cheat skills. Yeah. He wants more? He wants more? What's he gonna ask for? Immortal at night? Very interesting mechanic. Immortal at night only when the moon is out. I think this show is called Moonlit Fantasy. I thought the moon favors us, but the moon favors this guy. All we have to do is just black out the moon then, huh? Then what can he do? Bro, I was like, do you, do you have a character customization menu by any chance? I want to change my hair and have different eye colors. <laughs> A good point, you know, the goddess can literally change how people look. Yeah, she's, you know, she still found Makoto too ugly. I think it's, um, it's like, she is fine with him getting the character customization menu because he was already hot, you know? But Makoto, initially, he wasn't, so I guess he doesn't, like, earn it in her, I don't know, her whatever value system she has. There it is. The silver hair. Immortal at night. Okay. What other nation did he get sent to? People are saying that nation. Okay. Purple and blue. Hello? Looks like a MILF. The Gritonia Kingdom, the Empire, right? Second Princess. Please come to my chambers. Oh. I like her design. Just her design so far. Ginebia. Okay. Oh, Jesus. A lady knight? Have some respect! This piece of shit. He's gonna mind control her and she's gonna be totally fine with it. Oh no. We're about to see the beginnings of this piece of shit, aren't we? Oh no. Enthralled. Fuck this guy! Huh? She noticed. She's like, hmm. Something was different there. Hmm. Whenever you have mind control abilities, especially from the perspective of, let's say, a villain, it's never a good time, man. CGI! That's right. Mind control eye. Wait. Immune to its effects? Yo, the second princess is already so sus of the... And that's the thing. The hero's innocence is pretty weird, right? Because he right now... I thought that he was gonna be just like starting off as like a piece of shit, but based on his backstory, he's like almost like a victim, you know? And like this victim mindset might kind of propel him with all these different powers to become the ultimate piece of shit as he starts to kind of like, because he, he wished for like a cheap power. I want OP powers. I wish my life was like really good, right? And now that he's gonna start power stripping, he's gonna turn into this fucking fanatic freak. I don't like this, man. Oh. Hello? Yukinatsu the Alchemist. Force player. Cool. He likes golems? Here's a charm again. Okay. They just become all so horny for him. It's, they, they just become so down bad. Get a hold of yourself! He still doesn't really realize the extent of his powers, huh? Oh, dragon. I'm supposed to be the hero. Dragon summoner. Pretty cool. Can he con like, control the dragon too? Hey, I just met you. Will you marry me? So fucking dumb. I hate this guy. Uh. <laughs> He's calling us Onichan too. Is this because of his own degenerate desires? Is it, is it like, how, how does this mind control thing work? Because like, why would she start saying Onichan immediately when she's a lolly? I feel like he's a lollycon and he has some fantasies of a lolly calling him Onichan. So now with the Zeno, you know, his magic eye, it's like imposing these delusions onto other girls, which will then reciprocate them. <laughs> 
He sounds also very unsure of himself. Seem to like him? They are so down bad, they want to marry him. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of more scared of Lily, though. Oh, she's she's a hot in this voice? Okay, I was wondering why she sounds so familiar. Lily! She's very cunning. She's very on top of her shit. She's actually more scary. Cap. <laughs> you would make a great hero. You see this? Great. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, it's only natural they love you. <laughs> hmm. I remember she's a second princess. Where's the first princess? Very interesting how he has the power of the magic guy to manipulate people at his own will. But right now, she is the one, and I know that she got the protection, right? The royal family or something, they're kind of covered from this power. But she is the one manipulating him, with, and even though he has the magic guy. They did kiss. I think this scene was shown in the opening as well. <sighs> they slept together, huh? Yo, Lily's face though. Oh my god. I mean, it's not just a kiss. They also did some things without your consent. Ugh, Lily is quite the milf, though. L Lily is. Mio's great. Don't get me wrong. Mio's great. She did penetrate us as well. But Lily's. And that's the episode. Why were people crying about this episode? I think this episode is so fascinating. The world building is expanding. We're getting to know more about the disciples, where they come from. Everything about this episode was so good. But people were literally crying in my comment section saying, Tsukimichi Moon, the fantasy is ruined. Why did they do it like this? It's like, dude, it, shit like this makes the story even better. It makes you go look at the story from a different perspective, a different timeline. It's important to understand who these heroes are. So by the time we meet them, you know, it's going to be even more satisfactory when we shit on them. Very interesting how the goddess kind of separated the heroes into two different kingdoms, right? I wonder if that's intentional, that they sent, you know, the, she, that she intensely sent Hibiki there, and then fucking, you know, the, the other guy over here. Hibiki is much better than the guy for sure. Hibiki in the beginning was a little annoying based on her ridiculous amount of confidence, which honestly is probably deserved because she is her. She sounds like she's just great at everything and you shouldn't really be shitting on somebody for being good at everything. It's just the way that she was kind of talking. It's like, <laughs> I bet I could, do, I could just do anything. But she's just so bored. She wanted some excitement in her life. So she came up here and now she's becoming a hero. And so far, she has been pretty good. I like her. We don't really know how she's going to act in front of other, you know, non-humans. So we'll, we'll save the judgment until then. But so far, I think she's a delight. The other guy, I don't, I don't know about that. The, this other guy, this, this piece of shit. Like, it's so dangerous to have a victim like this in the beginning to give such manipulative, literally manipulative powers. Because so far, he's still like a sheep. I wonder if Lily is gonna groom him and make him into this fucking sociopath that's able to manipulate, like, you know, do wicked things. I'm not really sure, but Lily is down to do anything if it means getting revenge against the demons and especially against the goddess who apparently did not listen to our mother's will. So at least, you know, she might be a little bit deranged, but she is very hot. Lily is extremely hot and she seems to have something against the goddess, which is cool. And another important thing is the fact that Mio and Hibiki actually met. This is really fun. Mio was just fucking around, just eating shit and just happened to roll over to Hibiki. And Hibiki is saying, next time, I'm gonna win. Not gonna happen. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.